Afro Joe here. Now, you know this is my be old soul, but I've been saying this for years, man, like for two years. I know not a long time, but I always tell people, watch what you say and do on the internet. But this girl from UCLA had to open her mouth about Japan, people from Japan, Asian people. I love Asian people because one thing is Asian women are fine. Now this girl right here, she's a beautiful young girl, but she was just dumb. Now how dumb is you going to get to come on YouTube and bust her all talking bad about Asian people talking about they get on the phone? Well, if they get on the phone, why should you care? Why should it be your business? You better get your now you got everybody looking at you as a racist. See, I'm not calling her racist. Everybody else is calling her racist. See what I'm saying? I always tell people, watch what you say and do on the internet. Because one thing is dead. Because that one mess up will get you caught up with something you can't get out of. And this girl did that. Why don't people listen to me? Why don't, why don't people listen to me? I told this girl, I told people, watch what you say and do, because you're going to get caught up with something that you can't get out of. So, so I'll tell you this, though. She got death threats. She got people sitting up there hating on the now. Nah, you're supposed to be in college. You're supposed to be getting this big, this badass education from college. If you did damn swan, why the fuck did you get yourself into some bullshit that you can't get out of? Is you that damn dumb enough to where you're gonna get up on YouTube and make a video about Asian folks knowing they are going through something? They are going through something. Asian folks are going through things because the pain just got screwed over by the weather. I don't think. Ranting and raving about Asian Get folks up. making calls to see if their family's okay. Get up. See, people, like I always say, man, you Get gotta up. watch what you say and do on this internet because one thing is, one thing is, you're gonna get caught up in something you can't get out of. Now, you see this girl, she messed up and did that. She messed up and sat there and ranted and raved about Asian people in the library on the phone. Are you that dumb enough to where you're going to make a video on YouTube? Come on now. Come on. How many times does Afro Joe's got to prove a point that you got to watch what the fuck you say, you got to watch what the fuck you do because one thing is you're going get, to get caught up in something you can't get up. I know y'all say you need to stop saying that. I ain't gonna stop saying it to these people. Realize whatever you say and do on the internet will affect your life. Will affect you. This girl got death threats. This girl probably might get kicked out of college because of what she did. People in her neighborhood might say, "There go that racist girl right there. She hates Asian people." You made a name for yourself, girl. I think her name is Alex. But, uh, Alex, I can say this, man. Everybody around you is going to look at you as a big ass, big titty racist. Now, you sitting up here and wet your titties all up in the bunch, ranting and raving about Asian folks. And I think you was out of line on that. Now, I've been called a racist, I've been called other names. But I always prove my point. I always tell people. I said, just watch somebody screw up and say something, and it will show that I'm telling the truth. Now, you look at this girl. She's proving all my points. You got to watch what you say on Watch, Watch what you say on Watch what you say and do on Twitter, MySpace, YouTube, Facebook, any site you go on, because that stuff is going to affect you in the long run. Y'all can hate, y'all can discriminate, but it's the truth. It is the truth. So people, y'all can sit there and say, Afro Joe, you need to shut up. No, y'all.
y'all need to realize this. That can be your child. Think, think about it, ladies and gentlemen. If you got kids, this girl can be your your child. Could be your daughter, your niece, and your grandchild. Think about it. Your cousin. And this is happening. I would, if this girl was related to me, I feel so embarrassed that th this girl has has made her family look bad by what she did ranting and raving. You could have did a video say I feel she could have sit there and went on YouTube and said, I feel bad for the people in Japan that's going through things instead of sitting up here making fun of Japanese people because they had a tsunami and earthquake. There's people dead in this re and then what the reactors over there is just went off. I think that's unnecessary for this girl to be cracking all these jokes. So ladies and gentlemen, like I always been saying, you need to watch what the hell you saying and doing on these websites. Because that can be you right there. You can be just like that girl from UCLA. But I forgot y'all grown folks, y'all don't give a damn as long as y'all trying to make a name for yourself. As long as y'all trying to make a name for yourself. Is that what it is? Oh, I'm going to make a name for myself. Oh, don't listen to Afro Joe, man. Because he don't know nothing. He be, he's trying to tell people watch what, watch what we say and do on the internet. Man, but I ain't going to listen to him. I ain't going to listen to him because he don't know what he talking about. I'm going to do what I do. And see what happens. You can do that. You can say all that. You can say all that. I ain't gonna listen to Afro Joe and that, this, and that, this, and that. And you end up just like this girl. People judging you. People humiliating you. People sitting there throwing things at you. People who will see you in a different light because you're dumb enough to post things like that up on the internet, on websites, trying to make yourself look good. Now, I always prove my point. I always prove my point because it is the facts. You can say, oh, Afro Joe, you lie all the time. You lie all the time. If I lie all the time, if I was lying all the time, things like this wouldn't be happening. Things like this wouldn't be happening if I was lying. If I was lying. But I'm not. If I was lying, people like her wouldn't be posting racist remarks on YouTube or Twitter or anything else. But I forgot if my if I gotta be light, bright, and damn near white just to make myself. See what I'm saying? This girl gets death threats. I don't see why this girl. To me, it's like this. To me, it's like this. If I was if I was the dean of that college, I would have kicked down. I said, look, you can't you can't stay here. We don't allow racist people up in here. And you sit there and criticize half the people that go to this school. I don't think we need to have you here. So you're kicked out of this school. I know that's what I would have did. And every other college would have been like, hey, I can't deal with this girl. This girl's not rolling up in my school. Because she what she did. Now like I said, this girl can be anybody's child. This can be anybody's child. And y'all judging me because I'm saying watch what the hell you saying do on the internet. Who's right and who's wrong? Is this girl right? Or is Afro Joe right? Because one thing is, I'm seeing the way I look at it, I'm right. Girl, girl up here saying, all oh, Asian food, this, me, me, me. Look, girl, just, you, mm, that's how it is. The girl was wrong for what she did. She thought her looks were going to give her, get her everything. She thought she wasn't going to get in trouble, but she did. That was on her. She was stupid enough to do that shit. Now, ladies and gentlemen, like I said, if you gonna hate, hate on people who post dumb shit like this, like this girl did. Don't hate on me because I'm telling the truth about people like her. Don't hate on me. Hate on people like her. Now, if, if you got something good to say about me, say it on this. Tell me in a comment or a video response. If you got something negative to say about me, take your shit somewhere else because I'm 